Hi and welcome to The Batch Lady where I show you how to make fast, simple, homemade meals that you can make in advance, put in your freezer and use whenever you want. Now this week I am coming in to you in association with Quality Meat Scotland and the Scotch Kitchen to show you an amazing lamb dansac recipe, okay? It's absolutely gorgeous, really simple to make. Dansac is um, a curry that you can make and it's using lentils, meat and vegetables all in the one pot. Now, there is quite a lot of ingredients that go with this, okay? But it's ingredients, a lot of them will be in your dry store cupboard, um, or they'll be in your freezer, so they're really, uh, you don't panic about the ingredients list, okay? You'll probably have the majority of them in. And this is a recipe that takes two hours overall, but most of that is it just sitting cooking and you can go and do something else while you're waiting on it, okay? So it really is quite an amazing recipe to do. Our family love this, okay? Now, if you can hear in the background, we are shifting sheep on our farm, okay? So it's a bit noisy today, but that's what happens in farming life, so we just have to keep going. Okay, I'm using, I'm going to go run through the ingredients, but also to let you know that I am using a lovely cut of Scotch lamb that I got from um, Shaw's Butchers in Lauder, okay? Um, if you want to buy your lamb, make sure it's Scotch lamb. If you want to figure, figure out how you know it is, it's the blue label that you're looking for, okay? That comes up saying Scotch lamb. That's what you want to look for in your supermarket or in your butchers. Today, we are using a lamb shoulder. Um, and it's going to be diced, okay? Now, if you want, you can ask your butcher to dice it, or you can just pick it up from your supermarket and dice it yourself. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so the ingredients that we're going to use today is we've got some um, olive oil, okay? We've got two tins of tomatoes. We've got 200 grams of red split lentils. We have got some um, ginger, chili, and garlic, okay? Your garlic is um, four cloves of garlic, three chilies, and 70 grams worth of ginger. Now, if you want to do it quick and true batch lady style, pick up your bags that are already done for you at the supermarket. That's all I've done, and I've just portioned them out so that I know exactly what I've got, and it makes it really quick to do. Okay, we're gonna use some coriander to garnish and a few limes to garnish. Um, we've got some two um, onions. We've got our lovely Scotch lamb shoulder, um, some tomato puree, some coconut milk, and then we are using turmeric, paprika, coriander, and cumin. So like I say, it's quite a lot, but if you're used to making recipes anyway, you'll probably have this stuff in because they're mostly normal sort of ingredients, okay? So let's get cooking. So to start off, we are just going to get our pan, get our olive oil, heat it up slightly, and get all our spices in. Let's go. Okay, so let's get our pot on. You want one tablespoon of oil. You know me, I just... No, a tablespoon, so in it goes. Um, then you want to put your um, chopped onions. I've already just chopped mine behind the scenes. You know how to chop an onion, that's easy enough. And then you want to put in your garlic, your chilli and your ginger, okay? And you want to just give that a minute or so just to start to soften. Okay, as they're starting to soften, you can now start to add in your spices. So we are doing turmeric, you're needing one, te uh, one teaspoon, one teaspoon of um, paprika. This is going to give it a lovely colour as well, okay? Two teaspoons of coriander and two teaspoons of cumin. It already, the whole kitchen already smells amazing, okay? We're going to leave that for a minute just to let it all infuse soften down and then we're getting ready to put our lamb in okay okay so i'm just finishing chopping up my lamb shoulder now just chop it into chunks you can take as much of the fat off as you want um and you're really looking for sort of like you know sort of chunks like that is are perfect okay and you want to just get it in the pan as quick as possible it's going to take four to five minutes just to give it a brown um, so just give it a stir around in all those spices as it goes. There we go. Let's get it in the pan and back on the heat. Okay, so our lamb is browning perfectly, guys. Okay, and you just want to add in the 30 grams of tomato puree, tomato puree, which I would say is one big squish. There you go. Right, give that a stir around and give it another minute to sort of cook away. Okay, so once it's cooked for the other minute, you can now add in your chopped tomatoes. And 
you're going to add in 200 ml of water and 200 ml of coconut milk. So you don't need all this coconut milk, you only need half the can. Okay, so if I was you, I would make double this recipe. One that you could, if you doubled it up, you could have it tonight for your dinner and you could put the rest in the freezer for another night, okay? So once you've got your coconut milk in, that is you sort of ready to leave this alone. Now you can see that it's bubbling away, so I'm just going to put it to simmer, okay, for an hour and 15 minutes. So I can just go about and do something else instead while this is simmering. And we'll come back and see it in an hour and 15 minutes. That's when we're going to add in our lentils and um, start to add in our fresh stuff as well. Now, when you are serving it, we're also going to serve it with kefir yogurt, okay? So you'll need some mint, some naan bread, and some kefir. Okay, so our dan sack has now been um, simmering away for about an hour and 15 minutes. So you can now add in your lentils and give it a stir around and add in the remaining water that you've got as well, okay? And get all that water in and then you're just going to give it another 30 minutes you know when it's done when the lentils are softened and your lamb is softened which will take about 30 minutes while that is um happening we can go on and make our kefir dip okay this is how we do it okay and once it's done you are just pouring it into a little bowl ready to serve alongside it. it. Smells absolutely delicious. It's gonna go lovely with this curry. Okay, so 30 minutes after adding in your lentils, there you have it. Amazing lamb dansank made with beautiful Scotch lamb. I've got my mint kefir here. I've got my naan breads, which have just came out of the oven. And you can just then take your coriander and garnish the top of this and add in some lovely lime juice and you are good to go, okay? If you want, if you made double portions and you want to freeze it, leave off the coriander in the lime and of course just let it cool down to room temperature and then you can bag it up and put it in the freezer. When it comes out the freezer, just leave it to defrost and then you're just either putting it in the microwave or putting it in a pot until it is piping hot and you're good to go for another easy dinner. So a perfect one to double for the freezer. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video in association with Quality Meat Scotland. Thanks for watching. Bye.